that worry about what might happen. Okay, look, I'm a black belt over six feet tall. You know, I, I haven't had to like really step into that mindset for a, a lot, for a long time mm. that women operate in constantly. Yes. Of what might happen, mm. you know? And so they view the world very, very differently. The confidence that jujitsu has given me, of course I'm tall. And so people are less likely to, to pick on me, but the confidence that it's given me is a real confidence. Mm. It's not a kind of like, Oh, I'm tight and I'm, I'm muscled up and I'm, I'm, I'm projecting all the things that make me very, you know, alpha or dominant or all these projections that we have with the tats or whatever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people will create this fierce image, but the confidence that you get from jujitsu of just being able to, I'll be able to roll with whatever situation happens. You know, you're not worried. That's a real sense of confidence. I, I think more people need to tap into. Um, it's earned, it's not given. And being able to um, just get more people, I mean, it's a well, we can create a well armed society without arms. Mm. And a well armed society is a polite society. So I, th I think there's, I think there's a lot there in terms of like reducing anxiety, fear reduction. Um, I don't worry about getting attacked, you know, not that, Oh, I know this move or that move. It's that I just have been able to create spontaneous leverage through my body positioning for a long time. And so it, I mean, for years I, I dealt with like the fantasy scenario. Oh, what if somebody attacks me like this or like <laughs> this, right? You, yes. you run those yeah. as men. It's like, Oh, and I, I want to be able to, but those disappear over time. Mm. You're like, eh, this probably won't happen. Yes. And, and if I can go back to your point on how centered you feel after mm -hmm. doing a jujitsu session and how it, how clear everything is, there's no delusions. It just wipes us away. And, you know, and I've meditated on and off for a number of years and there's something about, I prefer like Zen meditation. I don't really focus on anything. I just like, I liken it to, you know, our daily life, the, the pot of water of our thoughts is boiling, you know, and then in Zen meditation, you just, you just turn down the heat, man. And it really reduces. And it, it's, you know, if I can get it down to a simmer, that's good. The, the monks, when you look in their eyes, are like, Oh, that's still water. Yes, that's, <laughs> it is. That's crazy. That's beautiful. <laughs> and jujitsu kind of forces you into this one pointed concentration of somebody attacking you. So all your thought is there and dr work relationship drama, all that stuff just drops. So, you know, in the, in the Zen um, stories, when the master says like to drop it, you jujitsu is a mechanism which allows that to happen mm. because it's so system intensive you drop the other applications and are just working on this. It's, it's brilliant in that way. And, you know, I don't find myself being able to meditate as often as I, you know, we all go through seasons and sometimes you're just too wound up to, you should do that, but you're not doing it, you know, but jujitsu can just take you from a wide range of moods and energy levels and boom, bring you right back to that present moment. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.